that you did some. Hey, there you go. Yeah. So, hey, everybody um, from the Premier Janitorial uh, followers on our uh, Facebook page. Jenny, here live today, I have a special guest, um, Stacy Peterson from Termingham Pediatrics. Um, I'm not going to tell you a whole lot right now about him. I'm going to let him introduce himself. But uh, he's, uh, well, I'll let you give your title. I know you gave me a title and I posted it on the uh, broadcast, but I'm sure that. Uh, that's probably just one of many titles and many hats you hold, I'm, I'm imagining. So anyway, I'm here today to introduce uh, Stacy Peterson from Carmen Pediatrics. And uh, why don't you tell everybody hello and a little bit about you? Hey, folks, how y'all doing? I'm, uh, yeah, Stacy Peterson. Like Jason mentioned, I probably wear a bunch of hats like this one. <laughs> my, my official title is probably Clinic Services Supervisor, but I think we got that title because we didn't know what else to call me. Uh, I do a little bit of everything at the clinic, um, interface with Jason and these folks and, uh, you know, make sure the clinic's running as smoothly as it can and posting money that comes in from insurance is a little bit of everything, but it's part of the fun. Oh. All right. So um, tell me a little bit about Charming and Pediatrics. How long have you guys been in business? Uh, what started the business? Uh, a little bit about that. It's an interesting story. Um, Many years ago, when Dr. Peterson and Dr. Hess were in residency, they were actually in residency together in Keesler Air Force Base in Mississippi. Uh, and so we became friends with the family back when they were still in residency. Uh, and they decided, you know what, it would be kind of fun to start a business eventually. And then we both ended up in Alaska and uh, started talking about it again. And so in 2008, we actually started Tarmigan Pediatrics with just Dr. Peterson and Dr. Hess as the owners. Uh, Dr. Peterson, my wife, was the uh, first practitioner, the first doctor for the first year while, while Dr. Hess kind of wrapped up his military obligation here at Elmendorf. And then, uh, yeah, it's grown from there. So September of 2008 was our first patient. And here we are over 10 years later, having fun. Having fun and had some serious growth. Um, I, I just out of curiosity, how many providers do you have now? We have, I think, 10 over on this side, but we also have eight providers in the uh, Armageddon Connections uh, suite uh, in the new building across the way. They're more behavioral health oriented uh, part of the clinic that we've kind of split off. So I think we have like 18 providers between the two facilities. I mean, that's, that's amazing. I, mean, I don't yeah. know about anybody else, but I mean, even 10 years sounds like a long time, but that's a lot of growth in 10 years. So that's... Uh, Tells me something that you guys are definitely doing something right. Um, so, so what do you contribute that or attribute that growth to? I mean, in, in your in your opinion, what do you think that is? Uh, the valley's grown a bit, but the need in the valley was tremendous. Uh, when we first identified the need out here in the valley ten years ago, I think they needed like eleven pediatricians or something like that, and there were only two or three at the time. Um, and then the valleys continued to grow, and so have we. But uh, yeah, we, we love the Valley, we love the people here, and we're happy to be a part of this community. It's just fun. And, and, I, and I think that has a lot to do with it. I mean, you say the growth and there was a need. There was a need, but you guys filled that need, but I think um, you said you love the community, you love the growth, you embrace it. I think probably the culture, um, just from knowing you, knowing the family a little bit, um, kind of following you on Facebook. I know you guys have, uh, as a family, have gone to some uh, trips and mission trips together. I know in the last years you've gone on two or three if I'm not right. Yeah, yeah. And so that, that I think that's a service attitude. I think, you know, I, I kind of get that from the uh, from your clinic. You know, you've not only do you feel a need, but you're serving for the community. I know you guys also sponsor, I know like Valley Performing Arts. You guys do a pretty neat um, pretty neat deal at the every summer. You guys and it just seems like it's grown. I know when we first saw it, you guys put on I, I don't know what you guys call it. You can maybe explain a little bit about that. What you do to give back to the community and to uh, yeah, yeah. Started a number of years ago at our old clinic uh, up off Bogard Road. We decided to do kind of a summer little fair event, and that was pretty successful. Then we put it off for a little while, but then when we moved here to our new facility, we do a summer fair in the summertime where we take a Friday afternoon and have vendors from all over the valley, mostly child-related vendors, uh, education, medical, that kind of stuff, uh, come and just uh, present to the community in our parking lot in the backyard. And we have events for the kids, bounce houses, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, so we've done that for three years in a row. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do one this year. We're going to have to skip a year. Uh, just our obligations are just 
uh, matching up with us right now. But yeah, we're planning for 2020. We'll, we'll do another one. If anybody's ever been to it, they know what I'm talking about. But it, yeah, where their location is, they cars are. I'm surprised you guys don't have to hire like parking parking people and get special permits. You have so many people in there. It's crazy how much it's grown. But yeah, that's that's pretty neat. So it's fun. So you guys moved from the, it was West Valley at the time or the Mass mm -hmm. Outreach Center. You moved there to your new building, which you had built what a little over three years ago. And, right. Um, I think that's when we first met. So. So kind of talk about that a little bit. How, so, you know, why did you make a change at the time? You know, when you moved, you could have just brought the people that were servicing you in. Um, you know, what, why the change? Why us? And, and how did you find out about it? Yeah, when we were a smaller clinic at the other building, it was easier for us to kind of take care of ourselves. And we actually outsourced the cleaning side of it just to a family group that was a small business um, that was related to us. And so kind of kept it in-house kind of thing. Um, but boy, we we doubled our exam rooms, doubled our providers moving out here, and it, the facility is so much bigger. Yeah, three years ago, we decided we needed to uh, kind of expand and, and make it something that a professional team could really take care of. Um, so as I recall, we were talking to uh, Mickey over at Capstone next door to us and to find out who he used, and he recommended you guys. And so we called Jason, we called a few others as well and got a few bids and and settled on Premier Janitorial. Okay, cool. So, so was it a, how, that whole transition process of switching in from obviously somebody in house, kind of somewhat, you know, family, somebody you knew, to somebody right. else? How was that? Was that how did that go for you? And and what's life like now? I mean, how is that going? What we really appreciate about it is the less stress on us. <laughs> you know, we don't have to worry about something. If 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 we find anything that isn't up to standard or something was missed, um, it's been super great just to be able to call Jason and say, hey. You know, we, we noticed this was going on and he's on it in a hurry and takes care of it. And so just having that professional kind of just interaction is, has been really helpful for us. It's been a good partnership, I think. Yeah, I, 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 think, I agree with you. I think so, too. I think we've got a, a good relationship. We've built a good yeah. relationship over the years. And, um, and I'll tell you, if you haven't been to Carmigan's facility, the, I, we, I've been there um, last, I haven't seen their facility and been in their clinic. I'm telling you what, they really have a nice facility. They've got some paintings. They have some, I don't, I don't know the painting, but they had somebody come in and paint, um, do some really cool paintings and the paintings, they, and all the artwork they have. I mean, they really put, have a first class facility and you can tell that they, you know, they built it geared towards, towards kids and, and serving yeah. kids and families in that need. And like Stacy said, the growth, not only do they have the pediatric side of just, you know, the day to day, they have a lot of specialty clinics and you can just see the growth. I mean, like I said, we've been with you three years. Your yep. clinic, you had everybody in there, a specialty clinic, had a little bit of room, and now you guys are, seems like you're busting the seams now, even with the growth that you've got the new so, um, Yeah. It. it has been a great relationship, so. Uh, I think so, I think so. Cool. Oh, my wife is, my wife's sitting over here, she's telling me something. So, hey, we do have a few, uh, <laughs> have a few watch, watch, uh, people watching. I'm gonna say hi to Kevin and Caitlin. Um, you probably don't know who these are, Stacy, but I uh, just wanna say, hey, thanks for watching. And, uh, so, any, any, what else What else do you want to tell us about Charlie Pediatrics for you? Anything we need to know or do you want to tell us or share as we kind of wrap it up here? Yeah, we've uh, <clears throat> just recently developed kind of an evening clinic concept during the winter time. And so, if, if folks were kind of hoping to have the evening clinic go through the summer, we've decided we're not going to do that this summer. Um, as, this, as the days get brighter outside, people tend to not come to evening clinic, we've noticed. Um, so we'll wrap that up at the end of this month and then start up again in August, uh, back to school time. So uh, evening clinic options will be back. And that's something we've found that the uh, patient population tends to enjoy. Um, it's a little bit of extra work, but boy, you know, when people can get in after school for a sick kid or after work for a sick kid, it sure seems to help out, uh, help the families. And that's what we're all about. So that'll be coming up again. And it really embody that. Like you said, the sick kids, and I'm sure, like, I know you guys do a lot of that stuff during the start of school for physicals and for sports and a lot of that stuff. And yep. I know it makes it a little easier on families. And, and being there and seeing it, you know, we have to shift our schedule for that, too, which is no big deal. But you see, it really is a great service that they offer, and it is heavily used. I mean, it really is. And so yeah. I'm sure that he appreciates that, and it's, it's a good deal. But, hey, I, uh, yep. I appreciate you taking, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of your time and letting people get to know you. and uh, your Right on. And just um, 
anybody's out there, and uh, obviously Tarmy and Pediatrics, I don't know if you're a Facebook follower, for those of you who are out there, they are always, I mean, like you said, he's got that 10 providers, and they're always, the reviews they get, are, I mean, people, you know, people are saying, hey, who do you use, Tarmy and Pediatrics, I mean, you guys are, you're, for one, you are the biggest provider, but you get the reviews are hands down, I couldn't even tell you the percentage-wise of what you guys get, this is pretty neat, and the growth is yeah. I really feel uh, honored to be able to, uh, to, to serve you, and to be able to take care of your facility and trust us with that so i do appreciate that and uh again like i said i appreciate you being here with me um i'm going to put a little post up here um anybody want to uh, talk to us if they've got any uh, need or anything or want to talk to us or um, uh, get a hold of us as far as if they've got any uh, upgrade or any changes with their cleaning facilities i'm going to post it here you can go to pjsak.com forward slash upgrade me and um Tarmigan pediatrics i know you can uh, facebook google or you can find them anywhere. So if you need to have any need, you can get a hold of them. And, uh, yeah. I know they've been facing the pain. So Stacey, again, thank you for being on here with me. And uh, look forward to talking to you soon. It's a pleasure, Jason. Thanks for having me.